Hey everyone, today I'm going to take you through a little walkthrough of the 2019 Jayco Jayfeather 27BH. Up front here, you have your large pass through storage, light for inside. Here you see, you also have a little switch here. That's for the accent, blue accent lighting on the front of the trailer. You have your 12 volt battery hookup, two 30 pound propane bottles with a crossover regulator, which means you can open both bottles at the same time. It'll pull from the one that the black little indicator is pointing to. Once that one's empty, it'll automatically switch over to the other bottle. If you come forward and you see here, there's a little glass and you see that it's in the red. That means the one it's pointing to is empty. So you can switch this over to the other bottle. That'll go clear and now you can disconnect the one bottle and get that filled and put it back on and it'll switch over again by itself when it's ready. You have your front motorized jack, a little LED light for if you're hooking up at night time, up, up and down. There's a little hole here with a rubber boot. If this fails, there's a handle inside the front storage unit that you put in there and you can do it manually. We have a uh, big fiberglass front with LED marker lights up top. You pass through storage on this side with another light. Go around back. You have your flush valve here. So when you're draining your system, you hook the hose up to there. Make sure that your, your drain system's open. You have your black tank and your gray tanks. You pull those, that allows everything to drain. And your connection here for your sewer pipe. You have your city water connection. That's where you can hook up the garden hose and run your water inside just like you normally do at home at a campground or something like that. You have your outdoor shower, hot and cold. Your TV satellite uh, input. Then you also have your 30 amp plug here. It has a little lock ring and you give it a little twist and pull that out. You'll see that there's a groove that it locks into. Put that in, give it a little twist and lock it back in. That's your 30 amp power. You need this plugged in if you want to use AC power in the trailer. Inside the bumper here is where your, your hose is for draining your sewer. Around back you have your spare tire, you have your ladder to access the rooftop. Also have your outdoor barbecue. This has quick connect fittings. Simply pull and lock it in. This is your little valve, so you make that on. You also have a quick connect underneath there where the other part of the hose goes. And this barbecue here is light manually from underneath with a lighter, just like that. And that's on a swing arm that stores. Over here we have an outdoor kitchen, you have a sink with hot and cold water, you have your stove, again manual light, turn it on, you'll see they both look like that, there you go, you have it on off for a little blue accent light in there, and small outdoor fridge. The big black grate here is the back of the fridge. That's where it intakes air and exhaust. You don't want to block that so that the fridge can operate properly. Down below the chrome here, that's the exhaust for your furnace. That gets very hot so you don't want to block that either. 
You also have a satellite cable output and a TV mount here. Also AC power, so you can mount a TV outside and have the cable on and able to watch TV outside. You have your potable water fill. You fill that up with uh, water that you can take with you in your holding tank. Simply put the hose in, turn it on, fill it up. Once the tank's full, you'll see an overflow out the bottom. It'll pour out the bottom and you'll know it's full. You have your hot water tank here. Drain, which is already in. When you are gonna drain the system, please make sure you release the pressure from the system by either pulling the release valve here or opening the hot and cold hot water tap inside, which will release the pressure and allow you to pull the drain out. Fold away stairs. And up front in here, you have there's that handle for the power jack. In case you that fails, and you have a handle here for your stabilizer jacks. These are not meant to be used to level the trailer, so you want to try to get the trailer as level as possible before you do use them. And then all you're gonna do is crank these down until they touch the ground, a little snug, and that stabilizes the jack the trailer from rocking or shifting or anything like that for you. Power awning, show you the button for that. And you have your outdoor speakers as well for your stereo system. There's a button here for your awning to extend and retract. These awnings are not designed to be left out during heavy wind, heavy rainfall, anything like that. You want to make sure that if it is really windy or raining, you bring the awning in so that it doesn't do damage to the awning or to the trailer itself. And you'll notice here, there's little adjustments here. So you can also change the pitch yourself. Just loosen that, pull it down to where you want it. And then you can angle, oh, tighten it up. And you can, allows you to drop the corner of the awning so that if you want to, it is a light rain, it'll drain off to the one side for you. Make sure these are back out when you roll the awning in. That goes in just like that. There's also LED awning lights underneath. Take you inside. Start up front here. Large queen bed. Under bed store. Under bed storage. You have an emergency exit window. To use these, lift up, pull out, push all the way out allows you an extra exit in case your emergency and the other exits are blocked. Both pocket doors here. Notice here, there's a little latch. Pull that latch up. And that allows you to spin this around. And have the TV in the bedroom. If not, then you spin it back the other way. and lock it in place like that. There's also a button here. So zone two on the radio, I'll show you that when we go around the other side. You can either have the inside speakers which are located in the bedroom here, or you can switch them to the outside speakers so you can listen to the radio outside. Also a switch here for the lights. And storing these doors, snaps here, make sure those are on so they're not banging around while you're traveling. And you also have lights underneath here. Down below here, your fire extinguisher, just to the left of the door when you enter. And up top is your instrument panel, lets you know your battery and what's inside each of your holding tanks. 
You have your living room lights. All these lights are able to be manually turned on or off if you just want to have one or two on. You have your slide in and out. So we can bring the slide in. It does go fairly quickly. So when that comes in, you're going to hear a clicking sound. That means it's all the way in. Same thing on the way out. I'll show you that as soon as we get it in. That means it's all the way in. And then out. It does the same thing. Just like that, and that's all the way out. The slide does only seal when it's all the way in or all the way out, so you can't leave it at halfway, otherwise it won't seal. And you'll have uh, water or rain or anything, it'll come inside, you don't want that. Your TV, that's the same TV that's spun around for the other side to the bedroom. You have your radio, there's your zone one and zone two. So your zone one is your main speakers that are in the room we're in now. You see them up on the ceiling there, one there and one there. Zone two is the bedroom two speakers or with that switch, if you select outside, zone two will be the outside speakers. This does have Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB capabilities and also plays the TV audio through the speakers as well if you want. Storage. Any remotes for your radio, your TV. So here, GFI, that protects the any of the GFI circuits on the trailer. So if you see this is in the red, just like that, simply come over and hit your reset. Double sink, little dish rack, foldable, cutting board. Down here, you have your panel. Has all your AC breakers and all your DC fuses. So if you have no power on something, good place to check. Oven and stove, I'll show you how to light the oven. You're just gonna turn that to pilot and you're gonna push it in. And you'll see the little thing under there where it comes out. Then you have your sparker. Not a light, and then you can let that go. You also have your stove, just like that. Microwave, just like at home. You have your hood fan. So we're gonna go back to the stove here for a second. We'll get that oven lit up for you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn that push and hold. Just like that. And this one here, I stand corrected. It's actually with the lighter, not with the igniter. Just like that. So this, so the oven has to be on pilot and you gotta use a lighter to light this one, not the Sparker, it doesn't work for that, just for the stove tops. Your fridge. You can adjust the temperature here if you want it colder or warmer. On off is up here. So you have your on and you have auto. Auto will automatically go to electrical power first. If it doesn't find that source, it'll switch over to gas. If you don't have electrical power at the time and you're, you want to use strictly gas, you can push the gas and then the fridge will light on the outside to gas. If it's on auto and you have a power outage, it'll switch over to gas for, automatically. When the power comes back on, 
it'll kick back onto power so you don't have to worry about losing your food or anything like that. Large freezer. Large pantry area. Lots of storage. You have your top bunk. You have a bottom bunk with an emergency exit out here. Same as the front window. Lift up on the tab, pull towards you, and push all the way out. Under here we have a storage unit. This lifts up like this. There's a lock here. You can lock it in place here. Also a little door to open. Makes it easier to access. Push up on this little spring. Lock up. Lights. Have your bathroom. Toilet. Flush, just step on the pedal. When the water's hooked up, it'll swirl around for you at the same time. We have a corner shower. This little rubber's gotta be on for when you're traveling so the doors aren't banging around. Hot, cold. And you have a skylight there for natural light in the bathroom. Like I said, make sure you put that rubber on so the doors aren't banging around because they are glass. You have your vanity, hot and cold. You have your lights, that light. And then you have your fan as well. So you have your fan and then you have your manual cranks to open them up. Right here's your thermostat for your fan and air, or for your, sorry, fan, air conditioning and heat. You just press mode. You see your fans on auto, you can turn it on if you want it on low, if you want it on high. You have your air conditioning, a little snowflake. And we also have your furnace, if you want heat. And then just mode back to off if you don't want either. Up here you have your, this is for your TV antenna. That's your adjustment so you can spin it, push in. Push in and turn like that, and it'll turn for better reception if you're just using the antenna. Smoke detector here. Press the button, hold, wait for the beep to test it, just like at home. Then you have your dinette, storage underneath, also folds down to a bed, and your couch, which also folds out to a bed just by lifting up and pulling out like that same thing lift back up grab the back and it folds up like that you also have another emergency exit here this one's a little different this one has tabs that you just lift up on and you're able to push that window to get out of the trailer if need be anything else I need to show you it does come pre-wired for solar so if you choose to put solar panel in it is pre-wired and ready to go for that you just simply cut this out and the wires are behind here and the connections up on top or out front on the tongue and that is your Jayco J Feather 27 BH